And it's this that I want to deal with tonight. Jesus the conqueror. <laughs> Hallelujah. Jesus the conqueror. As I begin, let me say this. There's nowhere in this Bible that it tells you to fight against sin. Not in the way that we oftentimes do it. If you fight that fight, you'll lose. You are to accept the victory that Jesus has already purchased with his own blood. <laughs> Hallelujah. And remember this tonight. God doesn't give victories to man. Now listen to that. We think, well, I won the victory. The victory is mine. The victory is this. He, he doesn't give. God doesn't give victories to man. He gives victories to his son, Jesus Christ. And we accept what Christ has done. And he did it all on our behalf for us. And his victories become our victories. <laughs> his victories, that's the key, become our victories. Now, let's take you to Israel. Israel. The one that I mentioned and read about tonight, Shammah, was one of David's mighty men. Mighty. Before they came to be with David, they did not know any might. But when they came to David, they became giant killers. You find one man killing 800 men at one time. You find another one, a single combatant killing 300 at one time. Enemies of God coming against God's people. You find these men killing lions. Mighty men. Shama was one of those mighty men. There's a lesson here that you must learn. Until you come into the presence of Christ, until you come into his victory, and you understand what he did for you at the cross, until you understand what he did for you at the cross, before I finish that sentence, Israel was victorious as long as they understood the shed blood of the Lamb. When they were offering their sacrifices and they were believing in what those sacrifices represented, Israel was victorious. That was Israel's victory. Your victory tonight is not in beautiful buildings. It's not in degrees that come from exalted seminaries. Your victory is not in methodology. It's not in psychological gimmicks, but your victory is in Christ. Your victory is in Christ and what Christ did at the cross. Paul didn't say, I preach Christ. He said, I preach Christ crucified. It's the cross. where Jesus satisfied the demands of the broken law. It's the cross where every demon was defeated. And let me tell you how that was done. Some people think that Jesus grappled with Satan at the cross. The 22nd Psalm proclaims that terrible Horrible day. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? The gaping bulls of Bashan set upon him. 
demon spirits. But when Jesus was taken down from that cross, Satan didn't want any part of him. There is no such thing as Jesus wrestling with the powers of darkness. That's not how he defeated Satan. Satan's claim on humanity is sin. It is sin that gives him a legal claim to put man in bondage. When we fail God, the terrible principle of sin, the terrible sin nature that Paul dealt with in Romans 6, that gives Satan a legal right to hold you into bondage if you do not understand the cross and what Jesus there did. But I'm going to tell you in a brief few words tonight what Jesus there did. When he died on that cross and shed his blood, and incidentally, there is no record that his glorified body has any blood in it. The scriptural evidence is that there is no blood there. And when you take on that glorified body, you'll be like him and there will be no blood there. The life of the flesh is today in the blood, but then it will be in the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. He poured out his blood for you and me. And when he died, the veil in the temple was rent. But here is the clincher. He atoned for all sin. Past, present, and future. When John the Baptist introduced him, notice what he said. He said, behold the Lamb of God. Notice the terminology, the sacrifice of God, the Lamb of God, what all the lambs had represented for the past 1,600 years. Actually, even ever since, 4,000 years since Adam and Eve, the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. He didn't say sins plural. He said sin singular, meaning he's going to take it all away, past, present, and future. Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away, taketh away the priest of old. Whenever they offered up sacrifice and when the high priest went into the Holy of Holies, uh, the sins were not taken away. They were just covered because the blood of bulls and goats couldn't take it away. But Jesus took them away. Jesus took them away. Jesus took them away. As far as the east is from the west, uh, our sins have been taken away. And you, child of God, don't you ever let the devil drag up past sins to you. Don't you ever let him dangle those that filth in front of your eyes. You tell him, uh, my sins are gone. My sins are gone. My sins are gone. You ask me why I'm happy. And I'll just tell you why. Because my sins are gone. And when I meet the scoffers and they ask me where they are, I just say, my sins are gone. They're underneath the blood. Hey, hey. Well, need that cross of Calvary as far removed as darkness is from dawn. In the seas of God's forgetfulness, I said God's forgetfulness, He's forgotten. 
He's forgotten them. 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 Well, that's good enough for me. Praise God. My sins are gone. Hallelujah! 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 Well, it's different now since Jesus saved my soul. Oh, it's different now since by His grace I'm whole. Well, old Satan had to flee when Jesus rescued me. <laughs> Four corners. Now, it's different. Right now, now it's different now. Well, I went to church one day. Well, to hear them sing and pray. And that preacher, my Lord, he plowed that old gospel plow. Well, he said, you must repent. And down the aisle I went. And it's different. Oh, so different now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Well, it's different now since Jesus saved my soul. Well, it's different now since by his blood I'm whole. Well, old Satan had to flee, still running. When Jesus rescued me, and it's different, oh, so different now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, thank, thank you, Sean. Jesus atoned for all sin. He dealt with the cause of sin, the sin principle. He dealt with the sin nature at the cross when he took the sin away. Took it away. Past, present, future. Now, a whole lot of Christians, you Christians are funny. Some have trouble with the past, some with the present. <laughs> Some with the future. <laughs> but I can set your mind to ease tonight. He's taken them all away. Past, present, future. All right. Your victory is in the cross. That's where your victory is. Never forget that. 